the warm and heat the chambers to beat the chill. Well, not chambers in our case, the single chamber that our people all have to sleep in. So going into winter, we're just sort of setting up um, just jobs for them to do because we need to be gathering resources ready to build our main settlement for the next year so um we had a limestone mine so this is basically the last mine on the map so we're just setting that big area to be sorted out and just having a look around the map this is how so the, the other mine is basically done and we just need to haul all of that clay back to back to our settlement to be made into bricks which we haven't started actually Oh no, we have. We have built some kilns. We got kilns, we just haven't... We have set them to start being made. Okay. So yeah, we just need to start making all these bricks. So we see a, a casualty, which is a mallard. So luckily we have all our mallards to breed, but there is a fox, which I see there is is sleeping. So we're going we're gonna to take out... The foxes are the enemies in this game. We need to take them down, so we're going to prioritise hunting that fox. So there's no more duck casualties. Because the thing is as well, you never know, like, a duck might escape from our pen or something and then get eaten by animals. That's honestly an event that would be quite good, like, an animal breakout or something like that. That'd be quite interesting. Uh, so we killed the fox. That's uh, ready to be chopped up. And now our guys, Brandwin is making a start on, on that mine. Um, it's only a matter of time before she starts complaining, because she's in the wet. She'll complain about anything. And all our animals are busy hauling, Chomper is doing his thing, and we're getting all these kilns going. So going into day two, not too much happened day one really, it's just mining, hauling, and everything like that. And we just make sure we have enough armour and stuff set up. And I think we're setting some things to be deconstructed. Um, so just making sure that if something falls beneath a certain quality, it's going to be deconstructed. Uh, we have learned, like, uh, we did learn how to research male armor, but we haven't got much. We only have 80 iron, so we decided to make some male helmets rather than armor, because um, Jonna, Mikkel, and Beatrix already have male armor, but if we give them helmets, it's going to protect them a little bit more. Because really, all the other settlers are more disposable, so if they get shot in the face with an arrow and killed, I don't really care that much. So again, see Brandon is <laughs> rebelling again already. It's like that is absolutely fantastic. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, people are busy uh, making bricks. We only got 500 clay bricks, which is decent. Um, I do want around 6,000 bricks before we start building our main settlement because I don't want to keep having to go back to make more bricks and stuff like that. And um, we managed to train our donkey. Uh, which is all done, which is actually really good. The donkeys can haul a lot more weight than the goats. Once I have about four donkeys, um, we're going to just keep donkeys. And then we're going to cull off um, a lot of our goats. Because they're going to take up a lot of resources and food and stuff like that. Uh, so they have cloth from the wider world. They have much to offer our people. So let's see what they have here. Um, so we take some rough wine and... And then we give them wine and linen for bricks. So we get more limestone bricks and clay bricks. The limestone bricks are going to come in really handy. Because we're going to have a very limited quantity of those. So the most, the more we can get, the better. And I'm sort of looking over again at where I want our castle. It's actually really rare for it to be like so built up on a, a map seat. To be like three, three blocks high. Super high. And Feebolt is doing a good job mining like this area. It's taking its time because it's all rocky soil. It's either rocky soil, dirt, or limestone deposits. It's going to take a long time to mine this out. It could take all winter to mine this out. It's going to take ages, but you know, this is everyone's priority, and Chomper is there to offer emotional support to everybody. Chomper's here to lend a hand. I think we have got a second wolf, but it's, um, it's not trained yet to do anything. And everyone peacefully sleeps. And Brangoin is still upset. She's always upset. She's never happy. She's never happy at all. They see our four mallards there sleeping. This is our other wolf, which we decide to name. What do we name it again? We name it Fang. That's it. We got Fang. Of wolf, which is 40% trained. So it'll be a few more days until that's trained. But hopefully soon. But we should be getting some wolf pups. I think they're called wolf pups. Wolflings, wolf pups, something like that. 
puppies, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, we get another tree harvest. We have surplus wood now, which is really, really nice. It's not like the problems we had in the autumn where we didn't have any trees. So it's really nice having surplus wood. Again, um, not much seems to be getting hauled of that. It seems like the animals are focusing on um, hauling the limestone rather than the clay. I'm not sure why that is. Um, there's only a few more research things that I want. I really want decorative structures, banners, and decorative structures too. Um, just so when we build up our castle area, we can make um, the Great Hall. And we get structures, there we go, we only have one left. So we, we take um, Beatrix off researching, because like, there's nothing else that we need us to do. And I do put down another bed to pre in preparation for another settler, because I'm predicting we're going to get another settler soon. We haven't had one for a long time. We had three, like, very, very quickly right next to each other, but we haven't had any for, like, a long time. So Beatrix again is unhappy, and she's ravenous, and it's like, just eat the food. It's like, why, why are you hungry? And there we go, she eats the food, and she's going to feel better for that. But she's looking pretty swag, actually. She's got her male armor on. She's looking good. I think she has, um, she has like, good clothing as well. And we have a boar and a fox, so they need to be taken down again. No mallards. All the mallards have been killed by the animals. I don't know how we trained the mallards that we have, because they just seem to be dropping the mallards. And we decided to make our defense a little bit better. We had 10 iron left, so we decided to use that 10 iron to make a reinforced door. This is going to help, because the raiders were trying to break in to the area of our blacksmithing, so we just keep that a little bit more protected, because I really don't want our smelting areas to be destroyed and ruined. How many ducks? I think we have seven ducks now. It's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, no, five ducks. It's crazy. They're going to breed fast. So we got plenty of ducks. And John and Theobald and their friends, it's wonderful. And we get another merchant caravan. And so many merchant caravans. Ingredients, books, bound, bu uh, buttery parchment. Okay. So let's see what I do. Oh no! A duck is dead. It's Quacky's dead. Well, I think at this point we're not gonna name our we're not gonna name our ducks because if they die this quickly, you know, we're not gonna name them. It's like why well, you never name when you get a goldfish, you don't name your goldfish. Because it might not live that long. The goldfish can live a long time. I kept goldfish. They can live for many, 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 many years. But you have to be so careful. I'm not going to talk about fish because <laughs> we need to be focusing on this. So we buy some mechanical components and we make more crossbows. Um, and that'll be everybody's going to have crossbows now. It's going to be really nice. So we got a flimsy one, which is unfortunate. Um... But I guess we can just give that to, to Beatrix, because she's not very good anyway. She's probably not going to be hitting the targets anyway. So uh, we'll just give that to her. And we got all of our winter clothes done. But some of it is low HP. So we're going to make four more. Um, because I don't want it to fall apart. And here are the animals that are being hunted. So we're going to take that out. Fearball does no problem. This is the first time we're seeing our crossbows in action. And we just completely annihilate the balls. The balls used to be a problem, but now... And then Brango is doing, like, a moonwalk. She's like, whoa! And she's going to take down the fox. Again, we shouldn't have much trouble with this. Go on, pew pew it. There we go. There we go. And down it goes. So we're trying to like, eat the ball that we just hunted, and then we're just like, nope. You don't, you don't get to take that down. And there's one more fox that's lurking around. Here he is, and he's stealing our food. He's stealing our currants. It's like Jesus, what, what is, what is it up to? And it's still running around. It's, um, it's really mocking us, isn't it? It steals our food. And there's still one more, one, two more sets of stuff which aren't good. So we're gonna set all that to be dropped. And then we just get everyone to recover everything that's there. I mean, we got three more, so there's going to be one set that we need. And it's all fine, so it's going to get rid of that um, ugly apparel debuff as well, which is going to be good for them. So we really don't want our people to be unhappy for that reason, because they really get unhappy for so many other reasons. We, we need the minimum amount of things to stop them rebelling. The rebelliousness is a big problem at the moment, and the kilns are going, they're working hard on there. We got two and a half thousand bricks now, and we're on day eight. So I really would have liked to have gotten up to like five, six thousand by the end of winter, but I don't think that's happening. And they're working well on the mine. The mine is like halfway done, and we get another visitor. Like, this is the third caravan that we've had, and it's 
I think usually you get less caravans and events happening in the winter because it tends to slow down in winter. You don't get really raids in the winter. So the winter time is a really, really nice time to really build things and sort things out because you're not going to get attacked and stuff. And we just trade some meat for some apple saplings, really, because they didn't have very much stuff that we wanted. I think we got some aged fine wine and some apple saplings from them. But the apple saplings will help. Um, we decided to shore up our defences a little bit. Um, so we start building this defensive tower on the side, because the front is well defended, but we have the smelting area to the side. Um, and we don't want those to get broken in and destroyed, so I decide to build a defence tower just so we have... Um, we can defend every um, entry to our base. Which I think is pretty important. We have no way to defend the right side, but it's not like they're going to attack the right side of the base anywhere. So here's a little sped up version of this being built out. It's very like basic. It's not really all that advanced. So we do it two floors high. It's enough. We don't really need to go any higher than that. So we do. I like to do five by five towers. There's more than enough space for everyone to to attack from. So we set that up. We set the corners to make it look nice. It looks all right. It looks like it looks like a nice little like compound area, and you got. To put, I love the way there's ladders now in the game, because when you put beams two floors high, they can't access them. But now you can just put a ladder up, and they'll just climb it and build. And the people get trapped inside while building, but then it gives me an idea to put stockpiles inside. So I decided to put the fodder inside one bit, which is all the hay inside one part. So we have had some hay decompose and stuff, so they can put all the hay inside there. And I decided to put the sticks inside the other part because that can also decay so we're just going to keep that like safe inside here for now and then we just put wooden doors here because we don't really need proper doors anyway the problem we have at the moment is we were completely out of um iron we have no iron so really we need a nice big raid or we need i don't know we need to we need to get some weapons we need what we really need is to make in the springtime we need to make loads and loads of herbs uh, Brangwyn is hungry, so she's she's upset as usual, and she's got the hot-headed, hot-blooded perk, which does not sound good. She's already got so many negative perks, now she's hot-blooded as well, so um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I need to look up what um, hot-blooded does. I didn't look at the time, but Feeble's also not doing well. He's hungry, ugly, how deprived of entertainment. Um, I think he has the flimsy attire. It's the only one that was flimsy, so I think he's the only one who has that perk, and they always get the wall closing in perk, so, you know, he's always going to be quite happy, but their needs seem to be not too bad, actually, it's sort of, it's high enough so he doesn't get the, I don't know, he doesn't get rebellious, he doesn't get any, like, big debuffs, so it's not the worst thing in the world, and our mine is coming on nicely, um, I need to see how much, we have 200, um, 200 limestone bricks, but we haven't started crafting any um, limestone bricks. But I think we'll be able to make like 2,000 limestone bricks, but it's nothing that we're gonna. It's not really enough for us to build like any like massive structures or anything too crazy. And uh, load against the ill favored perk again, that does not sound good. What does it do? Ill favored. Uh, boss eye, which makes it difficult to know when to look when speaking to a negative social interactions. Fantastic. I mean, it's more reasons to execute these people. They just seem to be bitter. I think it's because they've been... I think it's because they've been here and they've been unhappy the whole time, so now they're just getting more perks to make them more unhappy. And it's honestly dragging down the people here. Like, we, we just want to have, like, a nice... a nice, like, community. And these people are dragging us down, so... The executions are coming. Lota and Brangoin are definitely on the chopping block to be executed. Um, so we grab, we trade some animal feed for some more um, bricks and stuff like that. And some mechanical components, and we can make one more crossbow now, which is uh, which is excellent. So that's just going to replace the flimsy crossbow that we had. And Brengo and John, I don't know, friends, which is not, like, the best, because we're planning on murdering her. So, you know, she's going to be a little bit unhappy about that, but I'm sure she'll get over it. Uh, food storage is going down, and then you can see the settler mood is going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But I think that's where they're mining, and they keep having to go into the wet. So once we finish mining out the swamp area, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. They'll be they'll be a lot happier once uh, they don't have to go into the wet. So we're going into day twelve, 
and we've mined out 6,000 clay, nearly 2,000 limestone, uh, 2,500 limestone, we got 2,000 dirt, which we're actually going to need the dirt. I'm just, just scouring around the map to see if there isn't any anything else that we 